I'm logging on right now to a callback for an agency that represents in San Francisco and LA, particularly the LA location. Um, I told you guys a little bit about it last week, but uh, I'm going to do a really quick 10 minute Zoom call. They said they had some questions and I do too. Let's see how it goes. Yes, Benfica. As far as LA, I'm really hoping for more TV. I I'm really striving for co-star roles this year. I'm non-union, yeah. The meeting just ended and um, I wasn't really able to like ask any questions and I had questions about like how long they've been representing people in LA. I did ask two questions and they pretty much said like, look on our website, otherwise that's likely to, that's going to be covered at our orientation meeting. But um, there's just some other like really specific things that I want to know about the agency before I go ahead and go with them. Um, they said they would send me an email either way, whether they want to offer me representation or not. I feel like it's been a while. <laughs> since I've worn not makeup. That's not true. I often wear no makeup in my vlog. You know, sometimes you just feel really like ugly and then sometimes you feel really attractive. You just gotta uh, just look at yourself without any grooming sometimes. <laughs> I didn't really get to talk about my interview with the agency yesterday because I had my day job after and I was in a hurry. So Basically, I have to wait for them to let me know if um, they want to offer me to be represented by them. But the meeting did not go like I thought. Um, it was 10 minutes and they had most of their team there because there were some people missing from the people that they have on their website. They asked me questions that they had already asked me in the questionnaire, like get to know me questionnaire that they gave us. Just confirming those things. Like in my head, I was like, okay, 10 minutes. I'm sure they're gonna like leave half of it for me to ask questions. Cause this is, you know, a conversation. It's uh, like a meeting. They were really, really nice. They seemed really fun and enthusiastic and just a nice people. So at the end I was like, hey, I actually did have some questions for you guys. And she was like, oh, we're gonna cover everything in the intro meeting. So it was like, okay, but some of these questions that I had, like I need to know the answers to before I accept. Therefore, I wouldn't even get to the meeting if some of the answers to these questions weren't what I was looking for. So um, I was like, okay, can I email you some questions if I don't find the information on your website? Cause they also said the contract length will be on the website and it wasn't, it was just a really short frequently asked questions on their website so it just seems to me like they represent a lot of new talent like people who are just starting out people who have never had agents before i mean i do understand that they don't only hire green talent and like newer talent but it just seems like that's what they're used to in their interview so i sent them an email and actually i'll show you guys the email that i sent them with all of my questions because like different agencies will request different things. So I sent them that email this morning um, and let's see if they get back to me. So I wanted to update you on what happened with that agency because next week I'll probably just forget and move on to a bunch of other things. But um, before I start, I do wanna like, I, is it weird that I'm not saying the name of the agencies? Tell me um, if you think it's weird. I just want to be able to openly, freely talk about my experience. And of course, I don't ever mean to be disrespectful or rude. And I hope I'm not coming across that way. If I ever am, please tell me because I'm really just trying to be as honest as possible and give you my experience and tell you what's going on with how I'm experiencing the experiencing these things so i sent them the email that morning and then i didn't hear back about those answers so then they emailed me saying they weren't interested in signing me which is absolutely fine that's how these things work not everybody's going to want to sign you and they didn't answer all of the questions which i think is good so they're not wasting their time telling me all of the information since i'm not even going to sign with them all of those questions i really those were really important to me so if they had said we want to sign with you the intro session meeting is this day i would say okay but before that meeting i need these answers because i want to make sure that you're the right agency for me and, and i want to keep really good relationships with all of these people because i i just really like people and i like being friends so of course i just want to keep a good relationship with everybody so i am still looking for la representation so if you got any recommendations let me know 
It's Friday right now. I'm about to film uh, the audition that I that's in Spanish that I held off for and oh my gosh it's it's Friday. It's due tomorrow tomorrow evening like five o'clock and usually I try to turn them in a lot earlier than this but um, I had my day job. I did film it pretty much immediately after I got it but it just was not nearly as good as I know it can be. I was really tired and then the last couple of days I've had way too much to do to be able to take time to do my makeup and get all this stuff ready and I was able to put my big backdrop up so um it's gonna be blue on blue I think it'll be fine though once I get the lighting right I'm trying to get not shiny right now but um I just went over the lines and I have the instructions right here on my laptop so I can refer to it in case I forget like the order or something but for this specific casting company they ask us to do the slate like this in the instructions it literally says come close up to your neck and head so i just have to get the lighting right for this close up but against the blue so i need to fix a couple of things getting a sh this shadow right here. And I'm also going to be using my teleprompter on my phone, which is really okay for this because the job itself is um, they use a teleprompter. So let me take this off. And then I know they wanted me to use my hands a lot last time. So I'm gonna do that again. Let me watch this back. I feel like something is a little bit off. Take one. <clears throat> Oops. Esto no es una señal buena, positiva. <laughs> Okay, I think I got it. They want two takes. The first take needs to be friendly, uh, like you're talking to a friend, and then the second take needs to be more educational and a little bit more like, serious, confident. I was able to do them pretty fast, I think, because I've practiced them a bit and I recorded them a million times the other day. Let me watch them really quick and see what they think. Okay, I'm gonna do the friendly one one more time because there was like a word that I, that I just, the rhythm was funny and did not seem natural. El algoritmo usarios. Darn. Lord have mercy. I got it. <laughs> I think I got it. Now let's do the full body shot. Since I never know where the cheese board is, I just put that right in the middle in the front. I'm gonna put some shoes on. that off lost a few feet but it's okay because look it was brand new as in I haven't cut any of it off I finally finished and I need to go edit this and then when I'm done with this I am actually going to be spending this weekend with my family so I'm really excited for that because I haven't seen my side of the family since Thanksgiving but it is the first Saturday of the month so I need to give you a recap of all of the auditions that I did for uh, January. So here you go. I'm going to show you a little clip of each audition so you can see what I wore and then I'm going to put a description of if it was commercial, theatrical, what. And of course I use my audition tracker. you need to be keeping track of your auditions even if you're just starting out so you can learn about what's going good and what's not going so good and you can book more auditions and trust me you will be grateful that you have all of this information um, in years to come so check out this video to see how I created my audition tracker